Hi, this is Dr. J.B. Askew. I'm talking to you today from my Bozeman office. It's snowing like mad outside. It's the middle of October and uh, a good time to talk about a Western theme. The Rocky Mountain Cowboys and Texas Cowboys, for that matter, their most prized possession, the most reliable partner they have is their horse. And for pathologists, that most reliable partner is their microscope. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So let's talk about the pathologist and his microscope. When you get ready to buy a microscope, you have some important decisions to make. One of the first ones is uh, binocular versus trinocular viewing head. And how many lenses? This uh, lens issue is pretty simple because pathologists uh, like uh, the more lenses, uh, the better. And what kind of lenses? Here's my uh, strong recommendation, plan apochromat, or as we usually uh, call them, plan apo. These are more expensive lenses, but they're great for diagnostic and image capture purposes. So if you want to take digital images, then the question about the viewing head is uh, mandatory because you uh, need a trinocular viewing head. The last question, and again, a very important one, is where do you buy your microscope uh, because you want to buy it from someone that knows microscopes inside and out. And in my opinion, that's Meyer Instruments in Houston, Texas. Rob Meyer knows everything about microscopes and digital imaging capture. So my microscope, here's some images uh, uh, taken uh, with it. This is an infiltrating carcinoma. You can see that each malignant nest has a central lumen or clear space. If you look a little more closely, you can see the nuclei tend to be open and have a very recognizable prominent nucleolus. Uh, this finding, uh, of course, means that the nuclei are not grade one. Look some more and you're going to see calcifications in the lumina uh, of these uh, malignant uh, uh, elements. So what about my microscope? I'm using a trinocular Modic BA410. Uh, five lenses, of course. And here they are, um, 2X to 40X, and all of them plan APO. These lenses are going to make diagnostic issues uh, easier and certainly uh, image capture producing uh, better results. Why the plan apo lens? Here's another example. Um, look at these malignant nests. Infiltrating stroma that's reactive. We can tell that by the bluish color. Look at the nuclei. Every one of them looks different than their neighbor. Look over here. Some are very dark. Some are open with a, a visible nucleolus. Look in, uh, down in the lower left-hand corner in comparison. Here's a residual terminal duct libular unit. Look at the nuclei. They're small and uniform compared to the malignant nest uh, up above. And notice the uh, demarcation line uh, along here, uh, making it very easy to see the malignant tumor uh, and its reactive stromal changes compared to the terminal duct libular unit here. So the uh, very best lenses admittedly cost more, but look at what they produce. So the images are of better quality for diagnostic purposes and also uh, for presentation purposes uh, at conferences. So now let's look at some images under the microscope and understand uh, how the plan apo lenses really help the pathologist. So here we are under the microscope at 20x or 20 power and the arrow is pointing to the edge of this malignant proliferation. And what we see is that at the uh, edge 
uh, the tumor is growing uh, in sort of a round fashion, and that's because it's growing inside a tubule or a breast duct. Uh, one of the benefits of using the plain uh, APO lens is the exquisite detail you get to observe um, of these malignant nuclei. Some of them you can look inside, and others are dark. Uh, notice this one has kind of a ragged edge. Others are elongate, like this one. Um, and uh, toward the center of this duct, we see areas of necrosis that happen when cells die. So this is a large piece of the malignant tumor, similar to, say, this one, that has um, outgrown its blood supply and the cells die. So we have nuclear features uh, that are malignant, and we have cell death, and so uh, this process uh, is a high-grade intraductal non-invasive tumor. Now let's do something. Let's uh, go to a much lower power. We're going to have to focus again, which we're going to do right now. And um, this is the same uh, process we were just looking at, but at lower power. There's another uh, proliferation here in this duct, and there's another proliferation in this duct, and many more down below. The key thing to notice is these malignant cells are not extending into this pink fibrous uh, stroma. So that means it's non-invasive or in situ disease. Now let's go down to the surgical margin. Right along here, uh, you see uh, no tumor present. You've gotten an idea what it looks like. You can always go back up here and look again. No tumors present. This is what we call the safety zone. This is a clean margin, and it is composed of normal breast tissue. This is fat. It looks bubbly. In between is fibrous septa. Uh, with more uh, 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 fatty tissue below it. So we have a clean margin. The surgeon got around the malignant in situ disease. Now, we're looking at this under the microscope. If we would like, we can look at it on a large uh, screen monitor, and that's what we're going to do next. Now, here we are uh, sitting in front of a large screen a monitor demonstrating the same lumpectomy images that we just looked at under the microscope. Now what the large screen monitor does, it allows the physicians in the room to sit back and comfortably review the pathology uh, that is being presented. They can avoid the uncomfortable feeling of sitting next to a microscope and those binoculars uh, pointing up at their face. This way, uh, it's a, a very comfortable way to look at pathology images of the patients being presented. Now, who attends these conferences? Uh, surgeons, mammographers, pathologists, me uh, medical and radiation oncologists, and other interested physicians. So everyone can be in the room, often sitting around a big table, and uh, look at uh, the pathology being presented. One benefit of the large screen presentation is that the pathology department can showcase uh, their image uh, collection and uh, demonstrate it in a very comfortable but exceptional manner. And so this concludes um, the presentation on the partnership between the pathologist and his microscope. And it's just as important as the cowboy and his horse. I hope you've enjoyed some of the images that we've shown and um, the details on why plain APO uh, lenses are the best. You can see more detail in the tumor. Your diagnoses are more accurate. And for presentation purposes, you have beautiful images to show your colleagues and it will impress them, believe me.